Hello everybody, welcome back to the Biker Baker channel and I am going to make some biscuits today. Mr. Smith made the apples, the fried apples, so I'm making biscuits to go with them and he don't want to do this one. <laughs> so here we go. We've got two cups of self-rising flour. I'm using Hudson cream. The Hudson cream flour, or it is just like like powder. Yeah, it's just so soft and pillowy. I love it. Without even sifting it. Yeah, I didn't even sift it. I was going to, and I was like, man, that is really fine. I like that. So, Hudson cream, thumbs up. So, we're going to add the two cups self-rising flour, three tablespoons of oil, your choice of oil. I have vegetable oil, so that's what I'm using. You could probably use lard in that, the three tablespoons. Or bacon grease. Or bacon grease, yes. Anything. Which I would prefer, but... Too late. Already done. I know. And one and a third cup of buttermilk. Now, the buttermilk, I am using the canned buttermilk. Well, it's powdered a powdered buttermilk. It's not canned. A powdered buttermilk that you just mix water with. So that's what we've got here. When I used to make the sugar cookies and I didn't have the buttermilk, I would use um, just a cup of milk and then a tablespoon of vinegar, which is a substitute for buttermilk or lemon juice or something like that to make it curdle a little bit. So we're just mixing this all together with Mr. Smith's blending fork here. May have to add a little bit more flour. Or not. It's going to be a little bit wet because I'm going to put, I'm going to roll them in some more flour. I think it's supposed to be wet. Yeah, it is. It's supposed to be wet. I think I'm just going to leave it. Looks I good. would. That looks great. And I have my iron skillet here that I just put some butter on. We're going to put that in a 425 degree oven. Oh, look. I messed that up. Doop. All right. All right. Let me get my assembly line going here. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. Look out, folks. Yeah. So put that on there. We're just going to roll it around a little bit. Roll it in the Ooh, hand. Make that's a little gonna ball. Look, look at that. Yeah. You don't want to push them down. You want them to be a little rosed up like that. Just make you a little ball. And folks, let us know if you've ever ate biscuits like this. You've ever made them where you dump them in the flour again, like this? I can't say that I've ever tried this. So, <laughs> so I'm interested to see how this oh, works. That don't look very good. Let's turn that baby over. And you, you see, mine aren't uh, perfectly round because you know I'm not all all right. No, you're half left. <laughs> It's creaky. You know, you watch people do it and it looks so easy. What looks easy the way you're doing it? <laughs> My biscuits don't look perfect on top, though. I want them to be perfect. Oh, they'll look good when they come out of the oven. <laughs> they all bake together. See, I got creases in it. Yeah, she made me do fried apples. I didn't make you. It was a joint decision. <laughs> I don't think, I think it was all one-sided. <laughs> it was a joint decision. You but they turned out good. You can't just be behind the camera. The apples were fantastic. Yes. Yeah, guys, if you've ever made your biscuits like this, Give me a shout out. It's like, hey, I've done it like that. I 
I can't wait to try one. <laughs> that one's a little small. I got big ones and small ones. I, I don't, uh, I can't uh, judge very well, can I? Well, I'm going to leave that alone. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you should probably should. Yeah. A good husband will leave that I'm gonna comment alone. Pull some of that off of that one. That Look one. at her. She just, she just. That one looked pretty big. I'm gonna make another one here. <laughs> hey, you trying to get in on it? As always. She's barking at the wind, folks. There ain't nothing out there. Real. I put it on my face. No! We gotta catch you in action. <laughs> Sometimes you make funny expressions. Uh, so. Is that it? <laughs> you get me making funny faces? Funny face. I love you. <laughs> All right. Now we're going to brush the tops of them with some butter. Oh, yeah, that'll really make it good. I got some melted butter here. Uh, some of them are smaller than others, but you know. That's all right. They'll all taste the same. <laughs> One might be crispier than the other. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to leave it like that, and we're going to put them in a 425 degree oven. I'm going to start at 15 minutes, and then I'll let you know exactly how long it takes in my oven. We'll be back. All right, everybody, we took the biscuits out, and they smell yummy, and they look yummy. Look at them. I'm going to brush some butter on it. So it was 18 minutes in my oven at 425. Got a little bit of butter left here. We're just going to sprinkle over there. Brush it on, I guess. Mmm. <laughs> the dog just opened the door. Mm. See the light. <laughs> All right. I'm going to take this biscuit right here. See the bottom's brown? Mm -hmm. That looks good. We'll slice her open a little bit. Oh, here. look at that. <laughs> nice and fluffy. Yeah. Ooh, yum. And I've got some of the apples, that the fried apples that Mr. Smith made earlier. Look at that with that juice oh, on there. Wow. That looks good. Yeah. I might as well take them all out because, you know, we're going to eat them. Because you'll eat them all. Hey! <laughs> I'm not letting you try this. No, that's on you. <laughs> All right. Now that biscuit is smoking. But here I go. Mm. And folks, I made homemade gravy mm -hmm. that I'm going to use over top of those. One oh with my. apples and one with gravy. Oh my goodness. Look, I'm getting another bite. This is this is yummy. Mmm. Mm -hmm. I'll show you his gravy. Here's him some gravy. He puts a little cayenne in it. He fried some bacon. So we've got the whole morning. We're going full out. Lift that gravy up and show him how nice it is. The consistency. Uh, That's all right. It won't hurt that. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, I already tasted that gravy. It is fantastic. <laughs> One day on camera, I'll show you how I make it. It's so simple. Anybody can do it. <laughs> Even I can. See? <laughs> yeah. I don't do gravy. And she could, though. I don't make gravy. I don't eat gravy like that. He has never seen me eat gravy and biscuits. But I might today just because I might try it. 
Because we got these homemade biscuits. And... Well, folks, she tasted it a while ago, and she was I like, did taste <gasps> it. I "Oh was my, like, that's so good." Hmm. It kind of <laughs> tastes like mom's, but I never did eat much of mom's either. Um, I, I just never did. wasn't a gravy person. Well, I grew up country boy, poor folks. So, well, so did I. You know, you eat you eat gravy and biscuits, and and I still love it today. I was country girl. Beans, oh. beans and cornbread and fried potatoes, yes. love it. Yes, with a side of pork chops. Mm -hmm. I had that many or times. Or ham. Yeah. If you have it. <laughs> Although he says I didn't grow up poor because my dad owned a gas station. He said I was in oil. Yeah. No. She's an oil tycoon. <laughs> That's what we all call her. My dad owned a gas station, a shell station, but, you know, he's a working man too, blue collar. He'd come home and he'd have dirt on his face and I'd say, Dad, let's wipe that dirt off. No, that shows I did something today. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. This biscuits is two cups of self-rising flour, three tablespoons of your choice of oil, and one and third cup of buttermilk. Now, I want to show you. This is the buttermilk that I used. It's from uh, Seiko Pantry, S-A-C-O. And you can see it's a powder. And it takes four tablespoons for one cup of water. And it's lumpy at first until you leave it set for a couple minutes and then it gets dissolved. You just stir it up with your fork. And um, you keep it in the refrigerator after you open it. So it'll last you a while. And he used this in his gravy also. He I says, did. Fix me up some of that. I'm going to try it. So he liked it. I used that in heavy whipping cream. So he liked it. Hey, and Mikey. I, and I got to tell you guys. That gravy is fantastic. <laughs> not that he's bragging or anything. No, no, I wouldn't brag on it because, you know, I made it. But <laughs> All right, I I'll enjoy off. it as well. So uh, I want to get <laughs> off here because I want to eat my biscuits. Yeah, and I want to eat my gravy before it gets cold. <laughs> All right, guys. So like, share, comment, and subscribe, please, and help us grow. And thanks for watching the Biker Baker Show. Peace out. Peace out.